Hello, and welcome to Spoken English for Non-Native Speakers. I welcome all of you to this maiden class. This is going to be an exciting journey, trust me. Now, those of you who are wondering as to what is going to happen in this training program and what can be done to drastically improve your language, let me tell you that we are going to use techniques that are very powerful and techniques that are time-tested. Techniques that I have used on my students for over two decades and they have worked wonderfully well. People who are now thorough professionals in the media and there are many others in the world of cinema and also in the world of print journalism who have been my students, who started out as not very good with English kind of people and they eventually became masters of the language. Why masters of the language? Because they persevered through with the techniques. Now, this is not magic. When I start out the presentation, you will see what I'm going to teach you is not magic. It will be a kind of, a, of an effort coming from each side, from your side and my side. I cannot possibly instill a chip in your head which can make you speak English fluently. Some of you are already very good with English. Some of you are just about starting out. Some of you are not good. All of you stand to benefit. Let me make this pretty clear to all of you. Regardless of what your level of English is, if you practice these techniques and are serious about this course, then you will be somewhere six months from now. There will be a period of slackness in between. Please understand today is the first day. So all of you are very enthusiastic. You must be wondering as to what we will be doing in this course that can magically transform our English speaking skills. To tell you the truth, this is no magic, as we'll see in the presentation eventually. This is actually a well-rounded and smart bit of effort that will come from your side. You have to cooperate with me. If you cooperate, if you listen to my instructions, follow my advice in totality, there is nothing in the world that can stop you from becoming an expert communicator. A communicator who speaks in a manner so as to attract the attention of one and all. You will become speakers who will... Again, I have issues with somebody's mic, please. It's a request. Please mute yourself. It's difficult for me to spot... Look, this is not this is not done. Mute yourselves, friends, please. And I don't have the team working alongside me today, so I'll expect you to cooperate. Okay? Because if the administrators had been there, they would be able to locate the bug and fix up all these problems of somebody playing the mic. Mute your mics, friends, mute your mics, please. <clears throat> This is pretty ludicrous, ridiculous. I don't want to use all these adjectives today on the first day. I expect you to cooperate and mute your mics. Let me do the speaking. You will do the speaking later. There'll be a lot of opportunity for you to speak later. So please, please mute your mics. Unless you are hellbent upon playing a horror show for us. Thank you. Please cooperate. Right. I would request Sushmita and Tarun to take the lead, please. Sushmita and Tarun, please drop messages in the chat box and tell your friends to mute. Because I cannot mute each one of you because locating is difficult. And if I mute each one of you by using the common switch, it, it actually raises some bugs in the arrangement. And then the class cannot move on smoothly. Right. Ask your friends to mute, please. All of you. Now, what are we going to do? Well, I have to say this. This is pretty moronish. This is really bad.
look, they, the gross mute button is not working on my side. That is why I'm requesting each one of you to mute, please. It's not too much to ask, ask of you, I believe. Let me check up who's doing this. This is sheer wastage of time. Abhishek, kindly mute your mic. Abhishek, mute your mic, please. Abhishek, Meena. I'm sorry the next time something like this happens, we'll have to take a stern step, right? Everybody cannot suffer for this kind of negligence on the part of one. Okay, so what are we going to learn? We will be learning essential grammar. What is essential grammar? Grammar that will be useful for you to be able to speak great English. Only that much of grammar as is needed for speaking great English. You don't need to learn every bit of grammar in order to be a good English speaker. In fact, the native languages that you speak, you speak because you are used to speaking those languages. While speaking those languages, you are never conscious of the grammar. The grammar just flows, its, it just follows its spontaneous course. And you speak the language in a very organic way. So that same applies to English. You don't have to learn every bit of grammar in order to be a great English speaker. At the same time, grammar cannot be neglected. We have to do some amount of grammar. And that some amount of grammar will be, as I said earlier, only so much so as to make you good in English. That much grammar we'll do. And that part of the program is called the essential grammar component. So now I'll start with the presentation. And after I finish with the presentation, I will ask my learned participants to introduce themselves, say a few words about themselves, their expectations from the course. Of course, I know that in, on the WhatsApp forum, we have done this, but in this live session, I would want each one of you to speak because uh, after you understand what we are going to do, uh, you will be able to do this course better because you must know what kind of path we are going to follow, what kind of course we are going to traverse. If you understand that, things will become easy for you. Right. So I start with a presentation and uh, this presentation is just a kind of an orientation. It introduce you, introduces you to the to the program, what exactly you can expect. Right. There is the presentation for you. Can each one of you see the presentation? Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes, please. Unmuting yourself. Yes, sir. OK, yes, great. Sir. great, 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 great. So as you can see, it is spoken English for non-native speakers. Spoken English for non-native speakers is the title of the program, right? And today, what are we going to do? This is lecture number one, and we will have about 100 odd lectures. I can't give you the exact number of lectures that we are going to have because uh, it could be 105, it could be 110 depending upon your progress, depending upon how much we cover over the next five or six months. It's a program for which you need a lot of patience and perseverance. Now that you have joined, I urge you to stay with me for the next six months. And by, by sticking around, you will do yourselves a great service. This six months time will be a lifetime investment for each one of you, right? So what are we going to do today? I will talk about myself. I'll also talk, of course, you will talk about yourselves and I will explain what is this training and who is this training for and what is expected of you. All right, this uh, presentation and in fact, all the presentations that I'll be using will be text intensive. Why text intensive? They'll be text intensive because I have, over a period of several years, realized 
that when you use a text intensive presentation for a course such as this one, teaching becomes very easy and probably learning becomes easy as well. So when I, what I'll be doing is I'll be following a simple system. If you have done my live classes, most of you have done, I believe. You might have seen that when I use a presentation, I first read the text and then I begin to explain. Why do I do that? I do that because when you just have a presentation and the speaker talks of things other than what is written in the presentation slides, then there is always a distraction because it is common human psyche to be reading what is there on the presentation slide. And when you begin to read what is there on the slide, you kind of lose focus over the words that are being spoken to you. So in order to bring in the text that is before you, in sync with what I'm saying and what I'm going to explain, first, I'll be reading the slides verbatim. And thereafter, I will be explaining to you what actually the tuft of text means that is before you, right? The tuft of text that you can see on the screen and for that purpose on every other screen that is going to follow. Now, please understand that this course is not for absolute beginners. If you have no idea of English, if you do not understand anything, if you are not good enough, if you uh, probably are having difficulties understanding me now, I'm speaking very slowly and I'm using the Indian diction and pronunciation. I'm not using the American pronunciation or for that purpose, I'm not using the English pronunciation as well. And I'm not even using a Thai pronunciation or a Singaporean pronunciation. I'm speaking to you in the English. I'm speaking to you just the way a normal Indian, a common Indian would speak to you, right? Why so? Because uh, in, in, this, in this class, of course, all of us who are participating are Indians and the Indian accent and diction will be understandable to each one of you. Not just that, Indian accent and diction are recognized and respected all over the world. So you do not have to work on your diction and pronunciation. Your diction and pronunciation, regardless of which part of India you come from, you could be coming from the northern side, from the southern side, from the eastern or the northeastern side or from the western side, it doesn't make a difference. Or you might be coming from the hills. Doesn't make a difference. Regardless of what your diction and pronunciation are, they are going to be understood. They'll be respected and understood all over the world. Indian pronunciation is considered to, considered to be very fluid. You do not really have to work hard to change your pronunciation or uh, change your diction. Because when you try to bring in those tonalities that you usually find in the English of, uh, of, of the native English speakers, then you sound very artificial. So forced diction and forced pronunciation are things that you should be avoiding. So this course is not for absolute beginners. If you are not following what I'm saying right now, probably you should join a more elementary course. I run such courses as well. But I believe, given your stature, given the fact that all of you are responsible officers, responsible profes professionals, each one of you will be following me, right? And you might might uh, have noted that I'm neither speaking too slow nor speaking too fast. I'm speaking at a pace that will be comfortable for you to listen and digest and absorb, right? So it is not for absolute beginners. This training is not meant for absolute beginners in the English language or those who do not understand the written word in English. If you cannot understand the texts in English or you cannot follow what I'm saying right now, probably, my friend, this course is not for you. Spoken English for non-native speakers can help only those who already have a basic foundation in English and are looking to improve their spoken English skills. So I expect each one of you to know basic English. And I'm, I'm very sure each one of you understands basic English. Still, there is if there is someone who is having difficulties following me, then you may reconsider 
continuing with this course and probably join one of the more elementary courses that I run. But I believe that uh, to the best of my belief, each one of you will be able to do this course because each one of you speaks good English. Not It is not that you just understand basic English, but your English is good enough. Your English is good enough to do this course and derive the optimal benefit from it. Right? Moving on. The program can help all. So whether you are a student, business professional, or traveler who wants to interact more confidently with native speakers, this training will give you the practical guidance and support to start speaking English like a pro. So if improved spoken English is your goal, this training is definitely for you. What is the meaning of speaking English like pro? Speaking English like a pro means that you have complete command over English. You have absolutely no difficulties in expressing your ideas in English. English must flow from your mouth with as much ease as Hindi or Punjabi or Gujarati. Whatever your language is, whichever language you may be comfortable with flows. So if you have that kind of ease, if you are that comfortable speaking in English, you can call yourself a pro speaker. Now, English is a very important language. There are many who say, why should we learn English? What is, what is the requirement? What is the necessity for learning English? We already have our native tongues and those native tongues are such brilliant tongues, brilliant languages. Why do we, why do we need to spend so much of effort to learn English? Well, the answer is very clear. Um, if you allow me to use Hindi as uh, a language for 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 uh, telling you, for explaining this example, then understand this, that nobody has a copyright on a language. You don't have copyright on any language and the people who are native speakers of English do not have copyright on English. So your right on English is as much as is their right on English and their right on Hindi and for that purpose on, on other Indian languages such as Sanskrit, Punjabi, Assamese, Odia, Gujarati, Marathi, etc., 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 would be the same. So nobody owns any copyright over a language. A language is divine and you should be willing to learn English because global. it is a global franca. You like it or you don't like it. English is understood everywhere, right? Probably you are very fluent with your own native tongue, but your native tongue will not be understood everywhere in the world. You could be in, a, in an obscure part of the, of the globe and there will be someone in that part who probably would understand English, but will not understand your native tongue. So learning English is going to be good because it will hold you in good stead no matter where you go. The second thing is, Scientific research, most of the scientific research is happening in English language. Most of the, the best of Engl the science papers, the best of uh, research papers are written in English. So you will be more in connect with the scientific world if you understand English well. And of course, no matter which person you are talking to, which part of the globe that person belongs to, if you understand English, there, then there is a high probability that you will be able to establish a communion with that person. You will be able to communicate effectively with that person. So since English is a global language, it's called a lingua franca. That is why learning English is, also, is going to hold you in good stead. And uh, by the way, English is now also an Indian language. Uh, the Indian brand of English, as I said just a while back, is respected all over the world. Now, this, these initial sessions, the first three or four sessions, maybe the first five sessions will really linger. They will be of, say, two hours or two and a half hours duration. Could be a little more as well. But eventually, subsequent lessons will, of course, be shorter. So uh, over the next five or six days, be prepared to invest time in these lessons. Right. So uh, I was telling you the importance of learning English and how understanding and having good abilities of spoken English can hold you in good stead in all spheres of life. And no matter where, where you are on earth, if you know English, you'll find your way out, right? You'll find your way out means you'll be able to get your things done, right? So if improved spoken English is your goal, this training 
is definitely for you. If you are understanding what I'm saying to you, if you are having, if you are having no difficulties understanding what I'm telling you, then you must have no difficulties doing this course. If you are having difficulties understanding me, if you cannot follow what I'm saying, then probably you should reconsider. But I don't think you should have any such problem. And uh, to the best of my belief, this program is indeed for you. Moving on. Please appreciate that this program is not magic, right? Spoken English for non-native speakers is also not meant for those looking for magical results. If you are looking for magical results and you think that by doing this program, you will have a chip in installed in your brain and that chip will be able to help you speak in English, I'm sorry. It doesn't work that way, right? I do not have any AI intelligence software that I can install in your brain or I cannot perform a surgery in your brain to install a chip which can make you speak in English. It would be great if you could do that, if I could do that, but that is still not possible. Probably our science hasn't reached that level of sophistication yet. So this is no magic. You will have to work hard. And only by way of working both smart and hard, you will be following, you will be able to speak great English. When I say great English, please appreciate. I'm promising you, you will be able to speak English like the native speakers, like the Englishmen, the Englishwomen, like the Americans, like the Australians, like the Kiwis, right? If you follow the techniques that I'm going to teach you, if you practice regularly and you follow the grammar lessons and you attend all the sessions, you do not miss out on the sessions, do not miss out on the practice sessions, you will be so proud of yourself after six months, right? If you show a slack, if you get lazy, then I'm sorry, I'll not be able to help you, right? I'm here to help you. Please appreciate, since this training program is free, it is not a weakling of a program. The best things in the world are free. Oxygen is free. Water, in a relative way, is free, right? And even free space, the common free space is free. And uh, all the other booties that you get from nature, mostly they are free. Right, The rivers are free for you to see and enjoy. You don't have to pay any money in order to just let the water, waters of the rivers caress your fingers. All these beautiful feelings come to you free of cost. Treat this program that precious. This program is going to change your lives. Trust me, you just have to show commitment. You just have to promise me six months of your life. That's all I ask of you. All right, moving on. These techniques need to be practiced regularly without fail and results take time to come, right? Results will not come magically. If you are looking for overnight results, sorry, they are not going to come. Results will come only if you persevere through and work both smart and hard. You have to work smart. You also have to work hard. Only then the results will follow. This training is not for you if you are looking for immediate results. To tell the truth, no training or course can give you immediate results. There are people who promise such big things. Hey, come to me. You, I'll teach you English in 30 days. 30 days, two weeks are enough to learn English. Some people will go on to say two hours. I'll teach you techniques that, is, that, is going, to, that, that are going to magically transform your English. No, it doesn't work that way. I have more than two decades of teaching experience and I have taught everywhere. I have taught people from all over the world, from coming from all kinds of professions. I've taught students, I've taught lawyers, I've taught media professionals. I have taught even movie personalities. And I can tell you that learning doesn't happen easy. If someone says that learning can happen easy, that person is lying. Do not place your trust in such a buffoon, in such an imposter. If someone promises you such quick results, bring the person to me and I will show you a liar. Trust me on this. I have been teaching spoken English for more than two decades. From my experience, I can tell you all this buffoonery that goes in the name of teaching English 30 days, in th learn English in 30 days, become fluent in two weeks, all those programs are 
trash, rubbish. You want me to use more words that, uh, that are similar or that are uh, synonymous with the word rubbish? Well, there are so many. Let's not waste time on that. All I'm trying to tell you is do not fall prey to such sickening, stupid programs. They do not deliver what they promise. I will deliver what I'm promising, provided you are willing to work hard. If you don't work hard, sorry, even I cannot deliver. I cannot do the effort that you need to put at your own end. If I could put in that effort on your behalf, I would do it. But unfortunately, I cannot be Ram, Mohan, Shekhar, Sumit. I cannot be them. Right? I can tell what Ram, Mohan, Sumit, Shekhar, Sheila, okay, Vaishali, etc., etc. have to do. But they'll have to do their own bit of effort. You have to practice. You have to practice the methods that I teach you. You have to regularly revise the grammar lessons that I give you. You have to watch the movies that I recommend. You have to read the books that I recommend. Then and then alone will you be good in English. Okay. So who will improve? So if you are not looking for magical results and are willing to practice regularly, this training is definitely for you. It will help you improve your English speaking skills significantly. I hope and uh, pray that none of you is looking for magical results. All of you are willing to, given the requisite amount of time, right? The effort. And by giving that effort, giving that time, you will be improving for sure, right? I promise you, give me six months of your life, probably 45 minutes to one hour every day, and you will be at the pinnacle of English glory. But you need to give me that effort. After six months, say, we are now in June. So by, by, the, by the new year, by January, you will be a pro speaker. And when you speak, people will listen to you with mouths open and they'll say things like, oh my goodness, when this girl speaks in English, you feel as though a rivulet of nectar is flowing. When this boy speaks in English, my goodness, it's almost like some musical bells ringing in my ears. That is the kind of English you will learn, right? Trust me, you will be not like the native English speakers because you will be better than the native English speakers. You have to practice, right? Trust the techniques and practice. I repeat, you heard me correctly. You will be better than the native English speakers. All right, moving on. Time needed for fluency. Now, how much time do you need to become fluent in English? Very important question. You might be wondering how much time one would need to be fluent in English if one practices the techniques given in this training. Well, I have already given you the answer, but let's read this slide. Well, I don't have a clear answer to that question. Surely I don't promise you fluency in a month or so. That would be unrealistic to claim. Do not believe anyone who says, he or she can teach English in 30 days and make you fluent in 30 days. It is not humanly possible. Only a moron would be falling for a trap such as that one. Do not join any such program which says that you don't have to put in any smart work or hard work to learn English. You cannot learn without putting in that hard work. It is important, right? Things don't happen easy. So I'm not promising you a magical transformation. I'm promising you a transformation that will come with hardcore, smart, and hard, and, and, and hard uh, labor, right? So if you are not willing to put in that labor, I'm sorry, my dear friend, with in all humility and uh, respectfully, I would say, that this program is not meant for you. You have to work hard. If you think that you can avoid hard work, no, that's not possible. You will have to work hard. Okay, next is expected time for improvement. I've already said six months, but let's see. If you are looking for a training of the kind achieve English fluency in six weeks or English fluency in 30 days, this training is not the right one for you. We have, I've already explained this, not 
repeating this point again, not repeating this point. Still, if you insist on knowing how much time it will take to be fluent, if you religiously follow the techniques and schemes given in this training, I would say that a student would need at least six to eight months to see good results. Six months, right? That two-month buffer, buffer period I've kept uh, because there could be some who wouldn't find practicing regularly all that easy or there could be some who would need more time because their level of English is not uh, at the requisite level. But in all probability, as far as I know you, each one of you is very good. Each one of you will do very well. Each one of you is going to be a pro speaker. Pro speaker will outclass even a master speaker. You will be a pro speaker. And when you speak English of that nature, people will look up to you. Your juniors will see you as a role model. Your seniors will look at you with respect. Before they say anything to you, they will have 10 different considerations in their mind. Why? Because you will have the gift of language in you. You will have command over a language that is respected all over the world. Right. So I don't promise to make you a master orator in that much time. I'm not saying in six months you'll be a master orator, but I guess you will see significant improvements in your spoken English skills. You can, you can speak in English today with one of your friends or just record a speech on your mobile audio recorder so that after six months, you can make another speech and record it and compare the two. You will be completely spellbound by the improvement. It will be like magic. I say it's not magical, yet I say that the transformation in six months will be magical. Yes, you have to give in that, put in that hard work. Moving on. Make a commitment to yourself and me. You must make a commitment to yourself because you want to see a better version of yourself, I'm sure. And I, being your teacher, believe deserve at least this much consideration from your side that you make a promise to me, right? And as your teacher, I would take that promise of yours very seriously. You could be a very intelligent girl. You could be a very intelligent boy. That doesn't make a difference. You will have to persevere and you will persevere and stay with me for six months. That is your promise. If you do not stay with me for six months, then you will have wasted your time and you will have wasted my time as well. If you give up in between, if you leave the course in between, then I'm sorry, I'll be very, very disappointed. I'll be very sad. Probably I'll not say, I'll not complain to you. If you ditch me, I'm not going to complain to you. I will not even say a word to you. I will not even mention this fact that you left me midway. But yes, I'll be very disappointed with you. Let me make that very clear. Now that you have joined, you must, you had a lot of time to contemplate whether you would be joining or not. Now that you have joined, you have to give me six months. And remember, I'm recording professional videos which will be uploaded on YouTube. Today itself, you will see this recording. Okay. If you leave in between, it spoils the harmony, the synchrony, whatever you call it, of my videos. It will spoil the look of my videos. So not only would you be committing a cardinal sin towards yourself, you will be ditching me and causing my videos to appear bad. And that is something which you should consider, right? Please don't do it. It is in your interest that you, that you take these courses very seriously. Take this course very seriously. Somebody has unmuted himself or herself, I don't know. Please mute yourself, whoever has unmuted the mic. I'll be taking questions later. Don't ask questions right now. Okay. So, these techniques have helped thousands like you. The techniques I have described in this training have helped hundreds of my students become expert speakers. I can give you dozens of examples of media professionals who have done this course, who have learned from me, and they have done exceedingly well in their respective areas of specialization. Right. And not just Indians, people from several parts of the world and and uh, 
there are people who have done very well in media. Many students of mine who are in the media in, in one capacity or the other, there are writers, there are actors, there are models, there are anchors, right? And they speak very good English. They speak very good English because they were sincere to the cause. And I'm sure you will be sincere to the cause as well. By practicing the simple steps outlined in the following lessons, they improve their confidence levels by leaps and bounds. So they improve their confidence levels because they practice these steps. And I'm sure you will be, sorry about that, you will be practicing these steps as well with full gusto and enthusiasm. This first day's enthusiasm is not enough. I want this enthusiasm to carry till the very end. If you have demonstrated enthusiasm today, the charge today, the, the, the determination to do well today, do not lose this courage. Do not lose this determination. Do not lose this enthusiasm till the very end. Please understand that the lessons will follow a very simple format. If you have done my English communication live classes, you already know what techniques I'm going to teach you, right? And we will only be practicing those techniques over the next six months. Apart from grammar inputs, I'm not really going to teach you hundreds of techniques. I'll be teaching you, teaching you some techniques. And we'll be practicing those techniques every day. And I'll be giving you the audiovisual material to, to enable you, to equip you, equip, uh, sorry, to equip you to practice well. That is all I'm going to do. We will be doing the same kind of classes every day. Every lecture might appear to be the same, but we'll be changing the practice exercises. That is all we have, we'll be doing. If you are thinking we'll be learning 100 new things in the, in the next 100 classes, we'll be learning 100 new things. Novelties will crop up in every lesson. No, madam, no, sir. We will be doing the same thing all through. If you follow my instructions, again, I tell you, you follow my instructions, you listen to me carefully, and you show trust in what I'm saying, you will be in a great position. Great position. Trust me, right? Please trust my words. Trust your teacher and you'll be somewhere. All right. By practicing the simple steps outlined in the following lessons, this we have already done, they improve their confidence levels by leaps and bounds, as you will do now. Build your confidence. In addition, by using the strategies I have taught them, they have been able to better understand and connect with their audience and deliver more effective and persuasive, persuasive speeches. When you finish this course, you will not just be a brilliant speaker. You will not just be speaking English like a pro, but you will be a public orator as well. You will have that confidence to be dealing with any kind of public, any, any number of people. There could be tens of thousands of people sitting before you and you'll walk on the stage, stage with all your strength, with all your confidence, without the slightest jitters in your mind. Jitters might still be there, but those jitters will only propel your success, right? So you will be learning the skills of public speaking as well. These techniques are so foolproof that you will be a master speaker and a master public orator. Just wait and see the magic happen. The magic will happen, but progressively. It doesn't happen overnight. You have to stay with me, persevere with me. As a result of using these techniques, my students have seen significant improvements in their spoken English skills, and many have gone on to become successful public speakers. Well, this is I've already explained this. I'm not getting back into this again. All right. You deserve a pat. Now feel my hand. Touch your head. Each one of you. Each girl and each boy. I'm patting each one of you. Why am I patting you? The reasons are just here. Congratulations and welcome to this exciting journey of becoming an impressive English speaker. If you have decided to join this training after listening to what I have said before, that is what I've said over these 10 or 14, 10, 10, 10 odd slides, 14 odd slides, then you are a serious learner. Spoken English for non-native speakers will serve as your guide in mastering the art of spoken English. You deserve a pat, my friend, each one of you.
सुष्मिता मुकुट अंजलि लेखा तरुण ईच वन ऑफ यू आई एम नॉट टेकिंग ऑल नेम्स बट ईच वन ऑफ यू हैव हैव डिजर्व अ पैट एंड आई पैट ईच वन ऑफ यू वर्चुअल पैट फील माय वर्चुअल पैट ऑन योर हेड ओके सो दिस इज वेयर आई विल बी closing my presentation and getting back into the gallery mode i'm sweating like anything because you know i'm sitting in my whisper room there is not much air circulation over here but in order to ensure that there is no disturbance i'll have to keep conducting classes from here i hope you don't mind seeing my sweaty disposition i'll be in my sweaty disposition for the next 3 months after of course the winters come you'll see me see me having uh, i mean see a drier version of mine okay you will become a better version of yourself and i'll become a drier version of myself as time passes there i end my presentation and get back to get back to my learned friends get back to my learned friends okay so with that done i hope you now understand what awaits you it is going to be a magical exciting brilliant outstanding life transforming journey for each one of you right now i would want want each one of you to introduce yourselves one by one talk give us your name although i'll be taking the names it will be almost like saying basanti tumhara naam kya hai but that's what i'll be doing because i can read your names on the gallery but still repeat your name when you introduce yourself so i'll be taking the name and uh, the person i name should give us again his or her name and uh, say a little bit about himself or herself right speak in english we'll be speaking in english out and out only i am allowed to use hindi i am by that token allowed to am i am i am allowed to use latin maybe greek maybe the martian language maybe the jupiter jupiterian language but you can only speak in english remember no other language for you only english 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 and english alone right even if your english is tuta phuta it will do even if your english is dirty even if your english gives others giddiness you will have to speak in english no other language allowed after this i'll form coteries not today tomorrow or day after i'll be forming coteries with you and then within that coterie you will be speaking in english for life follow my instructions and you'll be somewhere trust me trust your teacher 100% and you will 100% improve leave no doubt work hard work smart do the exercises i've already said we'll be doing the same thing every day we will be doing the same thing every day there'll be no variations there will be very little novelties but you still have to stick on and see how things change for you all right now with the introduction part sachin sachin introduce yourself please talk about yourself give us your name your expectations from the course if you want and you can also tell us a little, little bit about yourself there you go sachin good evening sir my name is sachin kumar hello everyone i hope you are having a great time uh, first of all thank you so much sir for having this course i mean i'm really looking forward for this and i'll introduce myself uh, i am from harinagar new delhi and i am a btech graduate uh, i am from ministry of corporate affairs and apart from this uh, my hobbies include drawing and from this course i am looking forward to having lots of practice because i think i have learned grammar and other things back in school and college but i really like the practice and i think with multiple sessions i will be able to do, do that yeah thank you sachin okay kirti introduce yourself kirti hello uh, hello everyone it's pleasure to uh, join this program this course uh, thanks um, and uh, myself kirti um, i am working as a personal assistant uh, in department of water sources um, and i have been working here for uh, for the for 10 years and uh, i hail from uh, etawa district uh, in uttar pradesh and 
my family uh, actually, uh, actually uh, we are uh, we are we have been residing in delhi for almost uh, uh, we have completed almost in delhi uh, uh, 20 years and now we have settled here uh, in gurgaon uh, and uh, um i want to improve my english uh, uh, because uh, i want to uh, i as you know that uh, as a personal assistant uh, we are uh, uh, we are uh, posted with uh, higher of of higher officers especially with bureaucrats and uh, so, uh, sometimes we are posted in uh, minister office uh, so um, uh, if we work in a in a section or a division uh, we we don't get uh, any opportunity uh, to explore ourselves uh to the uh, to a number of people to uh, different kinds of people who are uh, from uh, psu's departments uh from the foreign uh, for foreign land uh, but uh, uh, when we uh, work with uh, bureaucrats and uh, minister of the staff there are uh, many uh, many people uh, visit here to um, uh, there uh, we ha- we have to uh, we have to speak in Uh, in the same language if uh, if they asking uh, asking us in the same uh, in english la- english uh, so uh, and uh, as we, as we know that uh, english is an international language and through this language we can uh, uh, we can connect to uh, number of people uh, whether they are uh, north eastern south indian or any uh, from any other place uh, <laughs> so um, i think that uh, this course uh, will uh, will aid me to improve my uh, my performance better in my uh, in my job profile in my performance in office uh, and uh, um, and i am going to be promoted as private secretary in future so i think my communication skills uh, sh- uh, should be uh, better uh, better in both uh, in bilingual languages i'm already uh, good in hindi uh, <laughs> but i want uh, i want to uh, i want to be uh, better in english too right kirti thank you kirti you certainly will be a ps very soon and i'm very happy to see you that you are so full of energy and enthusiasm thank you for telling us about yourself uh, kirti okay seema Seema, go ahead. Shoot your introduction, please. Good evening, sir. Hello, everyone. Uh, sir, uh, myself, Seema, as you call me, and uh, sir, I, I have been teaching in school as lecturer Hindi right now, and uh, my teaching experience is fifteen uh, years in school teaching, and I do want to learn English. Uh, uh from this training session um to better myself in communication um uh, and um uh, you can you can talk about your job profile as well seema what is what do you yes. teach what do you teach yes, sir uh, sir i am a, uh, i am hindi language teacher uh, in school and uh, actually sir uh, uh, my uh, my i have done also uh, mnd and mphil in education and i am pursuing phd in education as well and and my hobby or passion you can say that i i, uh, I always want to learn new things in life and from people uh from situations and um uh, and anywhere from i can learn anything great which, uh, which improves me uh, and uh, and and to make myself uh, better by um, by the by the days are going and by the every day we can say 
Right, Seema, right. Very well. I mean, uh, you have, uh, thank you for giving us the details and I'm sure that you will do very well. You are already quite articulate in English. You already speak English very well, but I'm sure you'll be able to add wings to your conversational powers. Thank you for telling us about yourself. Thank okay. You, right. Thank okay. You. Okay. Right. Okay. Meenu. Meenu Kumari, that is. Meenu. Tell us about yourself, Meenu. Hello. Good, Good evening, sir. My name is Meenu. And I'm a housewife. Uh, I want to improve my English by your course. And, and after six months, uh, I want to, to be a good communication. I want to be a, a teacher with the good communication skills. Um, that's it. Yes. Thank, thank you, Meenu. Very well said. And I'm sure you'll be able to realize your goals, right? I'm so happy to see that beaming smile. I'm sure you're confident and let keep this enthusiasm going. Thank you, Meenu, for joining us. Thank you, right. Okay. Anjali. Anjali. Yes. There you go. Anjali. Hello everyone, my name is Anjali and currently I am working as an assistant section officer in Ministry of Law and Justice. First of all, I would like to thank you, sir, for the starting this program for all of us. And uh, uh, now I'd like to introduce myself and I come from Haryana and I have done my graduation in science. And my expectation from this course is that uh, I want to improve my communication skills and become a confident and fluent English speaker. Thank you. Sir. Great. See, Anjali, you have you are already demonstrating professionalism. Compact talk, but substantive talk. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that you have joined us, right? Great. I'm sure you'll be able to realize your goals. Okay, moving on. Nitesh. Nitesh, tell us about yourself. Good evening, everyone. My name is Nitesh Kumar Prashad. I come from West Bengal. Actually, I have I was born in Bihar, but my family is settled in West Bengal. And currently, I am working in Ministry of Cooperation. And and I want to thank Sir for providing for conducting this course for all of us. And I really wish that I uh, through this course I will be able to be that become confident speaker and be better in English communication. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Nitesh. Well said. Very well said. Great. Right. Now, not saying that you praised me. That is why you said you spoke well. I'm saying that you've been very compact and quite articulate. Very well spoken. All right. Yeah. All right. Who's this boy? Hitesh. Oh, my goodness. The wonderful Hitesh. Go ahead, Hitesh. Tell us about yourself. Hello, everyone. I'm Hitesh Sukhyar. I'm 26 years old. Uh, I'm from New Delhi. So, uh, about myself, I attend my schooling and graduation from New Delhi. So, I think, I hope my English is okay, but uh, when it comes to speaking English in formal situations, uh, I can't even speak around 30% or 40% of what I, what I actually have in mind or what I actually want to speak. So, that is what I'm looking forward to improve and be more confident in what I want to speak. And, uh, I'm more interested in knowing what I can expect from myself from this course. Uh, the hardest thing is, uh, for myself to do is uh, the hardest thing I can uh, expect from myself is to be in this course till the end. And, uh, uh, and uh, that's it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hitesh. Very well spoken. Indeed, you, the staying till the very end is a challenge, but I'm sure that bright boys and girls who are over here will all be completing the course and completing it with flying colors. Thank you, Hitesh, for telling us uh, about yourself. Okay, going forward, Suraj. Suraj, tell us about yourself. Uh, hello, sir. I'm very happy to see you again. Uh, I, uh, hello, everyone. I'm Suraj Kumar uh, from UP Kanpur. And uh, currently, I'm working in Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. And uh, my expectations to join this course uh, are like uh, when I speak uh, in English, uh, first of 
first thing is that i try to translate things from hindi to english and i feel that uh, sometimes whatever is in my mind i am not able to express that thing uh, and uh, i have low i have uh, pro- the main uh, some problem is that sometimes i feel that i don't have content to tell people what is uh, uh, to tell people about things and uh, sometimes because of that uh, i don't have content so i feel blank when i start uh, speaking actually so after that i i, I think that whenever uh, this course will end i will be a better version of myself and a fluent speaker and confident too absolutely suraj i promise you that you'll be a great speaker take my words okay all right thank you for telling us about yourself moving on lekha the beaming pretty girl go ahead lekha tell us about yourself hello everyone this is lekha sani or and i am posted in department of consumer affair i'm really very very happy to see you again i just don't want to <laughs> lose you with love and i expect from this course to build confidence in me as when i start to speak in english my heart start to beat very fast and i <laughs> yes very much thank you sir lekha trust me you will speak like a pro all right you will speak like a pro and you will impress one and all and all the hesitations will disappear all all your inhibitions are going to evaporate and you will be a great orator and that will happen 6 months within 6 months that that change will happen just stay put and you will be somewhere thank you for joining the course and thank you for telling us about yourself right thank welcome, you welcome aboard all right moving on now abhik abhik tell us about yourself please abhik we are waiting for you good evening sir good evening everybody i am abhik patla i am from east midnapur district of west bengal currently i am working in ministry of education and living in delhi and uh, actually i was really attracted by the public speaking part of this course because in my school and college days i used to be a public speaker but in bengali but i want to achieve i want to acquire that that skill in english also so i think uh, the course after uh, after 6 month that is completion of the course i will i will be a great public speaker in english also and thank you sir for giving us this great opportunity to 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 take part in this course and uh, take part in this wonderful journey thank you thank you abhik and i promise you you will be a great orator in english okay i promise you that just just follow my advice and you'll be somewhere okay all right thank you abhik for telling us about yourself right then we now move on uh, bhavna bhavna tell us about yourself please hello sir hello everyone i'm bhavna bharti and uh, uh, i am from jharkhand and uh, i am currently working as an assistant section officer in social justice and empowerment and uh, the things that i am looking forward uh, and uh, other thing like i try to communicate and uh, i want to communicate uh, the things that are going on in my mind and uh, uh, i uh, i fumble a lot so i want to uh, i want to improve uh, that as well and uh, uh, that, yeah that is what i am looking forward to like uh, want to articulate whatever is going on in my mind fluently thank you thank you bhavna well articulated and you will speak great english great english take my words for that okay all right you already speak good english you'll be speaking even better all right vishal vishal tell us about yourself please uh hello sir i am vishal sharma and first of all i want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce, introduce myself i am from west bengal and i am a student i am a B- ba student so i want to i want to know english because uh, i have learned somewhere that english is a uh, in other country english is a uh, language but in india using english is a skill so i want to learn that skill and a skill person never been neglected 
so uh, that's why i want to know english very well and i want to be confident because if i will know english then i definitely i can say i will be very confident in that thank you sir okay vishal here's a solemn promise from the side of your teacher you will be a great orator very shortly and remember english is a skill in all parts of the world regardless of what people say even in occidental cultures there's a great demand for learning english be it europe be it latin america be it north america everywhere i have seen argentinians chileans nigerians bolivians and from asia i have seen the israelis and the, and the people from uh, the, the the arabs okay from people from bahrain people from saudi arabia all wanting to learn english so if you are great with english you are going to make an impression on one and all right welcome aboard vishal yes, welcome you, aboard sir. glad to have you okay right okay okay my one of my favorites sushmita go ahead sushmita how are you and tell us about yourself hello sir and hello everyone i was actually waiting for my turn <laughs> since a long time so as many of you know that uh, my name is sushmita sharma and i'm an assistant section officer in ministry of mines and i'm really happy to see all of you again because after training uh, our life uh, uh, suddenly became very uh, it has changed completely actually uh, we didn't get time to interact with each other anymore so i'm very happy especially to see lekha <laughs> and uh, vishal uh, is my brother actually and uh, i belong from i belong to west bengal and uh, the problem is that if i if i'm in a uh, in a closed room and i start speaking in front of a mirror then i'm i'm good <laughs> i can speak even for an hour but if uh, if i speak uh, start start speaking in front of someone who is uh, really good in english then i feel hesitated and i always try to uh, like uh, avoid this fear uh, try to speak in front but i don't know why <laughs> things don't come out of my mind uh, my mind completely go blank and uh, sometimes uh, uh i don't instantly get the word i mean uh, while speaking a sentence sometimes i don't find the exact word what i should use so this is the problem and uh, as you promised and uh, you're showing your pledge that you will help us to uh, to make us very good in pro and english so um, i'm very confident in that and i promise over you that uh, i'll continue in this Uh, till the end because i really want to improve my english because in uh, now nowadays it is very important if you are you are very knowledgeable and you are not uh, speaking good in english then people will judge you this is a harsh reality so we should accept that and obviously we should improve that and also uh, i want to promote myself that i am a youtuber <laughs> so anyone who is whose brother sister are preparing for ssc they can uh, subscribe to my channel so i don't see myself as a introvert person because if it is uh, to talk in hindi in talk in hindi or in a english language where uh, uh, i uh, don't need to completely speak english then i can speak in uh, front of even 1000 people i don't hesitate that much but if it comes to talk completely in english in front of many people then some i uh, feel hesitated i don't know why <laughs> so this is the problem so thank you so much sir i hope uh, this course will definitely help me significantly one of my team member writes to sushmita sushmita you are already a pro okay <laughs> all right <laughs> sushmita rest assured you will never be at a miss for words in fact there will be a floods of synonyms and antonyms in your head when you practice these methods you are on the right course right wait for 6 months and as you say you will persevere do persevere that is one solemn promise i want from each one of the participants because if you disappear in between you spoil my videos right so don't do that like uh, i'm not a big youtuber like sushmita but i'm a youtuber of sorts so i never focused on my youtube channel but now i am uh, actually working on my channel because I, my work has been primarily writing and doing my voice but now i'm trying to although i have been having this channel for a very long time now i'm going to promote it 
possibly learn a few tricks and traps from Sushmita as well. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Sushmita. Thank you for telling Thank us. You, and, and you'll be great. Trust me, you'll be great. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Sobhagya. Sobhagya, my dear. Go ahead. Tell us about yourself. Hello, sir. Hello, everyone. And first of all, I would like to thank you, sir, for starting this program for this welfare of all of us. And uh, I am welcoming all of my batchmates on on this maiden session of English speaking for native speaker. Uh, I basically I belong to Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh, and presently I am posted in. Union Public Service Commission as an assistant system officer. This is my second job. Before this, I have already worked in enforcement directorate as assistant enforcement officer in Mumbai zone. Uh, so uh, I'm good with, good in English, but uh, uh, there is a lot of hesitation in, in me. Even at, at present, I'm very hesit hesitating in speaking. Uh, and uh, okay. Well, uh, Sobhagya, probably you wanted to say a few more things, but uh, you are cutting short. No problem. Yes, sir, I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I have already thought to speak a lot, but uh, at present I'm not able. Doesn't matter, Sobhagya. Wait for six months. Not wait for six months. These six months you have to hard work hard, and if you are willing to give me the time and the effort then i promise you you will have all the booties you look up to okay you will be okay. a pro english speaker you will never have hesitation again thank you for joining this course sobhagya and thank you for sharing your details with us all right okay. thank, you. thank you thank you so much okay uh, now the next would be okay if i don't take anybody's name you can actually raise your hand and tell me because you know the pictures all get intermingled. So I do not have this benefit of calling you in a sequence. So if I do not take anybody's name, please volunteer to introduce yourself, right? So next on the cards, I believe, is Manisha. Yes, Manisha, how are you? And go ahead and introduce yourself to the world. Good evening, sir. It's so nice to see you again. I hope you are recovering well. Um, hello everyone. I hope you are doing well in your daily life too. So I am Manisha Vashis and I want to join this course to improve myself. Like uh, because in public speaking, I hesitate a lot. And because, uh, and especially presenting my views in English. So yes, I want to speak English like a native speaker. Not like the one where I just crammed up your words and uh, speaking just for the sake of speaking. I actually want to learn it and uh, wants to teach it to other ones also. Like this is my motive. And uh, because uh, in this same year only, I went to G20 and uh, I got to know like, yes, I can understand English, but when someone, uh, like uh, if they speak too fast, I need to rely on subtitles or like I need to uh, understand, I need to work hard to understand what they are saying. So yes, in order to improve myself, um, uh, I want to join this course and thank you Thank you. Uh, thank you, Manisha. Uh, I guess there is some internet instability either on my side or your side. Your picture is getting frozen. Can you hear me? Just say. Just you can probably get off the camera and speak. Yes, now now you're visible again. Once you say something. Am I audible now? Yes, now you're audible, Manisha. Now you see, let me tell you this, that you are already very good, right? Don't have, uh, don't make any mistake. You are already good. You need to achieve that pro level. Yes, the hesitations will go. The difficulties you have in comprehending English when these native speakers speak fast, that will also go. You will understand their language just the way you're supposed to be, understanding it. It will be as easy as understanding Hindi or Bengali or Assamese or whatever, whichever uh, tongues, whichever, whatever native tongues you understand. So there will practi practically be no difficulty in understanding English or speaking in English. And thank you so much for showing your concern for my health. I'm doing well. But Manisha, you have given me jitters now and I'm, I'm afraid of you. You know why? 
because you are planning to become an english communication teacher like myself now if you become a teacher who will come to me who will study from me tell me it'll be all manisha manisha's spoken english course for non native speakers people will forget biswajit <laughs> banerji then what will i do i'll i'll run out of no i'll not run out of anything in fact i'll be so happy if that actually happens i'll be so happy you know because i really want bright young girls and boys like you to excel be an english teacher there is a dearth of english teachers in the world and when you complete this course think of going for additional qualifications such as celta etc etc right those give you certifications and probably you will be teaching english worldwide you will have a great audience to address so manisha all the best and you are sweet as always you have said such wonderful wonderful things to us about yourself and about your aspirations i wish you all the best and i'm so glad that you joined you have decided to join the course right stay put and you will be somewhere thank you okay moving on pallavi pallavi please tell us about yourself hello sir hello everyone uh, my name is pallavi sir first of all i want to thank you uh, sir for uh, conducting this training program and uh, uh thanks and i want to say that i am pallavi sir i am currently working as a assistant section officer in ministry of law and justice department of legal affairs i am from prayagraj uttar pradesh and i have completed my graduation from prayagraj university and my expectation from this training program is that i want to improve my communication skills and want to uh, be a more confident speaker as i came from a hindi background a hindi medium background so i didn't get uh, much uh, chance to speak in english and whenever i talk with english to someone uh, i get so much fear and i couldn't be matlab i couldn't speak with them in english with so much confidence so i hope that by completing this training program i will be able to speak with more confidence to people and in public and i uh, and i promise that i will give my 100% whatever you say uh, i will uh, i promise that uh, i will work on that and uh, and last and the last i want to thank you uh, that uh, you have uh, conducted this training program thank you sir you you're most welcome pallavi and i'm so glad that you have decided to join this course with uh, a talented girl like you will certainly excel i have no doubts about that and uh, all that you have to ensure is to as you just said yourself that you would do it persevere there will be tough days tough days are about to begin so if you are willing to brave that toughness then you will be somewhere don't give in to those to those tough days and run away okay so stuff days you have to stay put okay thank you pallavi so glad to glad that you have joined this course welcome aboard all right moving ahead okay mohit mohit hello hello everyone hello sir i am very happy to see you and uh, i am currently working in ministry of finance and uh, always i always think that uh, one day i will i will speak uh, english very good and i think uh, i'll definitely speak after this course and uh, i never read any novel even in istm during book review i didn't read novel while presenting the book okay Thank okay you, Thank you for your candid admission. It takes guts to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And uh, trust me, here I will work. I'll make you work so hard that you will be forced to speak in English. No matter how hard you try to escape, you'll not be able to escape those piercing glances of mine. Those eyes will be cast on you for the next six months. Okay? I'll ensure that you oh, speak. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Okay. Who is this, Shivam? Shivam, the wonderful Shivam. Go ahead, Shivam. Introduce yourself. Yeah, hello, sir, and hello, everyone. Uh, this is Shivam, Shivam Kumar mm -hmm. Sau, and I'm from Deoghar, Jharkhand, and I've completed my uh, graduation uh, in English literature, but still 
i'm not very good at uh, good at english and i uh, so i just want to learn uh, to just get rid of fear of speaking in front of uh, public and especially in english so i'll just work hard and right now i'm just like uh, having the heartbeat going rise <laughs> uh, very high so yeah i'll try and uh, do everything that is um, like possible to just uh, be a good english speaker thank you sir <laughs> okay shivam your heartbeat is rising i understand but when your heartbeat is uh, rising and it shows there's some amount of jitters in in your spine with it shows that you wish to excel right when yes. arjuna was to fight karna the day arjuna was to fight karna he he had a talk with nakul and nakul asked arjun if, if he was afraid and arjun said of course i'm afraid then nakul said why are you afraid you are supposed to be the best archer in the world and why should you be afraid of karna uh, you will easily vanquish him and arjun said first of all correct your statement uh, karna is not a pushover and if you think i am superior to karna that's not true number 2 is if you do not have any jitters if your heartbeat does not rise when you embark upon a journey that means you do not have the desire to excel the fact that you have this have these jitters inside you is an indicator that you want to do well and you will do well my boy i promise you that okay thank you thank, thank you, you for joining the course and welcome aboard all right now uh, the next would be one second uh, okay uh, there are some issues with okay neha neha introduce yourself please neha go ahead Neha, put on your camera. Put on your camera. All of you must be in camera. Okay, don't go off the camera, please. Be on the camera. Neha, introduce yourself. Neha is not responding. Probably there is some internet issue. Something is wrong somewhere. Okay, Pranjal. Pranjal, can we have you on the screen, please? Here yes, comes sir. Pranjal. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, everyone. I'm Pranjal. I'm actually having some connection issues. That's why I turned off my video. And uh, I'm an engineer from Lucknow. Uh, I have some hobbies. I love cooking. I love playing chess, and I like watching, playing anything to do with cricket. I recently got married as well. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I love learning new things. new skills and explore new fields uh, presently i am exploring photography uh, uh, and to talk about this course firstly thank you sir for starting it uh, even it is even if it is a bit late but it's finally it's here so thank you for <laughs> that <laughs> and for me the course is not just about english it is a part of what i believe is personality development uh communication skills not just in english but uh, general communication skills so i'm looking forward to uh giving my 100% to the best of my abilities and as practically as possible so hope we have a good journey ahead <laughs> well pranjal a small clarification the other batch was on right the delay uh, it was not strictly speaking a technical delay because the other batch's course was on so till i finish that batch i couldn't have started with your batch now that i've started with your batch i'm committed to you till december thereafter the next no, batch can happen so it, okay. it was so, not a complaint to no, be no 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 it's absolutely <laughs> fine it's absolutely fine who hasn't spoken give me some time all right shivam has spoken i guess everybody has spoken anyone in the class who hasn't spoken yet anyone in the class who hasn't spoken yet please volunteer please volunteer if there's anyone who hasn't spoken my team members will not speak my team members are of course there who will not be speaking but otherwise of the participants if anybody hasn't spoken it is your so turn so can i say something certainly pranjal uh, go ahead sir mukut actually he accidentally left the meeting and he is not able to join again i think he has not spoken all right all yeah. right no problem okay. no problem mukut can join us tomorrow uh, but uh, i did not see his uh, reentry into the forum right i'm wary of that that some people might get disconnected and they they might want to join 
So, uh, so no problem. Mukut will join us tomorrow, hopefully. We have had a lively session. It's uh, okay. Shivam Tomer has not spoken. Lekha is saying Shivam. Shivam. Shivam Tomer. Go ahead. Speak, please. Shivam, say a few words. Here you go. Waiting for Shivam. Shivam, can you hear me? Shivam, can you hear me? Probably some technical issue. No problem, but you'll... I'm afraid from tomorrow we'll get into the thick of things and then probably you will speak only for the exercises. Now, remember, I have made this clear. In this course, we will do the same things over and over again. Over and over again, over and over again, again. It's like saying the same sentence. I'm a good girl. I'm a good girl. I'm a good girl. I'm a good girl. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. You just keep saying it till you actually become very good. Right? What are we going to do? We will be following linguistic techniques that will teach you how to learn English in an organic, that will actually make you learn English in an organic way because your subconscious will begin to work, right? And you will see how dramatically your English improves. You will speak like a confident pro. You will be so much at ease if you ever have to give a TED talk. And all that will happen because you will put in the requisite amount of labor. You will do the hard work, right? Do not ditch me. I request each one of you stay till the very end because this is also going to be a content for my YouTube videos. That's not the most important thing to happen. The most important thing is for you to improve. So do not leave in between because if you leave in between, my efforts go in vain. And of course, your time also gets wasted. So now that you have started the program, regardless of what difficulties you have, please stay on and be ready to do the same thing again and again. If you do not practice privately, you will not be able to demonstrate the exercises well when you are when you are asked to speak in the class. We are 40 odd people. In fact, less than that. So I will be making coteries out of it. Coteries means groups. And each group will have to do half an hour of conference talk every day at your level. I don't know. It's your responsibility to do the talking. I'll talk about all this more in detail later. I'll be teaching you the art of spontaneous. I'll be doing a spontaneous in every class. And I expect, I expect you to be doing a spontaneous every five or seven classes. So none of you will be able to run away from doing the exercises. And you will do shadowing you will do linking, you will also be doing ideation and tons of other techniques. But remember, the pillars of this program happen to be the coterie talk, the spontaneous and the shadowing. And of course, I'll be giving you, I'll be teaching you essential grammar in an exhaustive manner. I'll teach you grammar in a way which will certainly hold you in good stead in the future. With that said, I take your leave today and I'll see you again at 8.30 sharp tomorrow. Thank you for joining me and have a pleasant night. Good night. You will see this video uploaded to my YouTube channel. Okay, before I leave, before I leave, one small thing. Now, there are a few things I request you to do, right? And what are those things? Uh, let me share my screen with you. Now, this is my podcast channel, right? The podcast channel has 52 episodes of paranormal stories. You might, some of you might have heard some of the stories. Some of you might have read the transcript. Please listen to the Obscurus episodes as they're released. Very shortly, we are going to revive Obscurus. I had to stop it to tell you the truth because of lack of funds. I could not fund it beyond the 52nd episode. But now I'm thinking of restarting it because being a writer, I love to write and I just keep getting ideas all the time. And I hope I'm able to entertain you as well by writing these stories. Then you have this website. This is my website. You will get tons of information about me. 
whatever, if, if you are interested in learning about me and my activities, you can visit biswajitbanerjee.com. This is, you will be able to see all this on the YouTube channel, on my YouTube channel, okay? Because all this, this episode will be, this, this recording will be available on YouTube. And I have your consent for that, right? I've already said your beautiful faces and your musical voices are now my right. Okay, I'll be using your beautiful faces and musical voices, right? And visit my, visit my website. You have tons of information over here. You will learn a lot about my books, right? Many more books are going to be published this year, at least four. Then you will also learn about my training programs. Remember, I am not just an English coach. I also teach life skills. Probably you'll be interested in improving your memory, improving your focus. You probably want to live a more decent and happy life. You want to brave, brave the problems of your life with more guts and more composure, more equanimity. All that I can tell you, I can help you with if you choose to join other courses. And by the way, all these courses are free. Okay? No qualms attached. Nothing, nothing to be worried about. You don't have to pay a single dime. Then you have the Obscurus blog in the same website. And on this website, uh, you on this blog, you have all the stories, right? For example, if you want to read Equivalence 1, Equivalence Part 1, you can just click on that and visit the blog. Here you have uh, the YouTube podcast. Here you have the video trailer and the podcast available over here and also the transcript. And here's a representative image of, 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 the, of the story. So... Uh, the website has a lot of information. I'll be glad if you can go, if you can visit my website and I'll be super glad if you decide to join. If you log, if you click over here, you can sign up with your Google account. Better still, sign up with your email and you will get notifications from me. Every time something new comes up on the website, you will get notification from me. And last but not least, I'm not like Sushmita commanding the confidence of thousands of people. I have just a few hundred on my channel. That is because uh, I never thought of becoming a YouTube star. I've always wanted to be, I've always focused on my writing. My books are very popular. My podcast is very popular, but I never tried doing it the YouTube way. But now I'm serious about YouTube as well. And as my students, as my friends, as my juniors, if you subscribe to my channel, Right, there's a, there, there is tons of information over here. I'll just read out what is there. Please, uh, please mute yourselves, friend. Whoever this is, Mukesh, please mute yourself. Mukesh, mute yourself. Mukesh Kumar Meena, mute yourself, please. Mukesh Kumar okay. Meena, mute yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sir, okay. Right. So I'll read the description for you so that you understand what is there. I post both English and Hindi content. So welcome to the official YouTube channel of Biswajit Banerjee, novelist, short writer, short story writer, podcaster, screenwriter, poet, life coach, etc., etc., English communication teacher as well. On this channel, you will discover a variety of content related to his talents and interests. So please go through this if you want. You'll understand what kind of content is available. Lots of trading material, lots of advice for writers, lots of advice for podcasters. Should you want to start a podcast channel? Lots of advice for how to deal with life. And of course, lots of advice as to how you become a better communicator. You'll be a master communicator if you're serious. So do subscribe this channel. And I'll be glad if you ask your friends and cousins and, and who else, whoever you have access to, to join this channel. But yes, it'll be, I'll be happier if only serious people join. I'm not after numbers. Remember, I've, been, I've never been after numbers. I want only serious people to join the channel so that they benefit. And I also get my quota of satisfaction. So do visit my YouTube channel. I leave the links on the, on the WhatsApp forum as well. With that said, it is time to bid adieu for today, saying goodbye. I will catch up with you sharp at 8.30 tomorrow. Hopefully, there will be no technical hassles, the kind of technical hassles that happened today. Of course, quite understandably, this is the first day. And uh, I hope you do not mind my sweaty disposition because I sit in this whisper room.
because when I sit in this whisper room, I'm cut off from all the external disturbances. And I like it this way. Although I have to endure a lot of heat, I have to endure this sickening, sweaty state of mind, but I still feel like being here, right? So have a great time ahead. Happy learning to all of you. Take care and good night. Lots of exciting things to follow for you. Take care. Good night. And I say bye for today. Good, good night. night also. <laughs> bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.